It's Thirsty Thursday, so I hope you have worked up a thirst for some more Farming Simulator 22 news. Today we have more information about production. Specifically, we learned that there are 13 placeable production facilities included in the base game of Farming Simulator 22, with at least 21 output products as well. I will be posting both of these graphics on my YouTube community channel for anyone who wants to download a full resolution version. For the naysayers out there that will talk of farmers not producing their own goods, well I call that a massive load of BS. You've ever been to a farmer's market? Farmers have been producing their own goods for centuries. But if that's how you want to play, that's fine. The game allows you to sell your products just like it always has and you can ignore the production elements in this video. Without further ado, let's take a look at the first, the production output icons for 13 production locations, and then we'll move into the great production flowchart that Giants has provided. Going across the top row, we have flour, bread, cereal, cake, sugar, chocolate, and honey. Remember the beekeeper's outfit we saw in the character customization images? Well, this is a solid confirmation that we will have honey production in Farming Simulator 22. On the second row, we have butter, cheese, the three oils in canola, sunflower, and olive, grape juice, and raisins. The final row shows us strawberries, lettuce, tomato, fabric, clothing, furniture, and planks. Of that list, I think chocolate and honey are the only two new items that were not previously seen at either the FarmCon videos or the GamesCon preview build videos that have been out on the internet. I know it was one of the GamesCon videos where I saw someone going around and looking at the various production locations and we saw clothing and fabric as well as planks and furniture during one of such of those videos. Moving on to the production chains from sawmills to carpentry, sugar mills, a dairy, bakery and greenhouses, processing of our oil seeds and olives at an oil mill, a grain mill, and the biogas plant is now considered into the production chain, grape processing, to a cereal factory and the spinnery no longer just a sell point now it leads to the tailor shop let's look closer at each and every one of these 13 production facilities trees aka logs will go to the sawmill to produce planks or they can go to the carpentry shop the planks produced at the sawmill can also go to the carpentry shop where furniture and wood chips are produced. Wood chips seem to be a byproduct of the production of furniture and can probably be sold somewhere else on the map. Sugarcane and sugar beets can go to the sugar mill where, well, sugar is produced. Sugar can be sold or move on down the production line as an input at the dairy or the bakery. Speaking of the dairy, it will accept sugar and milk as inputs to produce chocolate. Milk alone is used at the dairy to allow cheese and butter production. Chocolate and cheese are at the end of the line and can be sold as finished goods. Meanwhile, butter can either be sold or moved further down the production line to the bakery. But more on that in a little bit. There are three greenhouses in the base game and those will produce strawberries, tomatoes, and lettuce. These greenhouses must be self-fertilizing as they only require water as a raw input. These seem to be one of the cheapest production elements to get into as a result. All three of these can be sold as finished goods, but strawberries can also move down the line to the bakery should you so wish. The gray mill is the next production element to talk about. It will accept sorghum, oats, wheat, and barley as inputs, and will output flour. 
This flour can be sold, of course, or can be further processed at the bakery, which is where we will go next. The bakery is by far the most complex of all the production chains included in Farming Simulator 22. The bakery requires five different products to produce a single finished good. Let's see what's going on here. The bakery can make bread by providing it flour and flour alone. Meanwhile, to make those beautiful and tasty looking cakes, we will need to not only provide flour, but also eggs, butter, sugar, and strawberries. The biogas plant has been moved into the production chain as it will accept four different inputs and will produce three outputs. Just like previous farming simulator titles, you can provide the BGA with silage, manure, or slurry. But with FS22, a new input is accepted in cut beets. These inputs will then allow the BGA to produce electricity, which we learned a few weeks ago can be used to recharge our electric vehicles. It can also produce methane, which we learned last week can be used to refuel our methane powered tractors, as well as the old tried and true digestate. Sunflowers, canola, and olives can be sold or taken down to the oil mill for processing into, you guessed it, sunflower oil, canola oil, and olive oil. It looks like for now that this is the end of the line for the oils, but I can see plenty of mods coming out to leverage these in further production elements. Not to be outdone by olives being pressed into olive oil, we have the third and final crop coming to Farming Simulator 22 in grapes. These bundles of juicy goodness can be taken into the aptly named grape processing unit and pressed into grape juice or dried into raisins. Juice can go to the store for sale, but the raisins, if you want, can be used further down the line at the cereal factory. The cereal factory will accept corn, raisins, and honey. As I mentioned earlier, we have a confirmation that honeybees are in the game and will provide us more than just an income per hour. These three inputs will be used to produce cereal, which can then be sold as a finished product. Our final two production elements, leverage, cotton, and wool. In past farming simulator games, the spinnery was a sell point. You took your wool and in FS19, cotton to be sold. This can still happen in Farming Simulator 22, but if you wish, you can be a bit more involved with the production of fabric at the spinnery. Once you have fabric, you can take it down to the final production facility included in Farming Simulator 22, which is the tailor shop where clothing can be produced. Let me know what you think of the 13 different production factories included in the base game of Farming Simulator 22, and what do you think of the 21 different goods that can be produced at those factories. These are just the tip of the iceberg, as I know modders will have a field day with the built-in production aspects of FS22. As always, if you have not yet pre-ordered and you wish to do so, then consider using my affiliate links in the description below. I do get a bit of kickback from them, so you can also help out the channel at the same time. If you have not done so, be sure to subscribe and tick the bell icon to get notifications on future uploads, as we will have another fact sheet drop tomorrow, no doubt, and you don't want to miss my take on it. Until next time, happy farming.